This is the ETBU Sportsnet Coaches Show. I'm Kenneth Klein. We're joined by men's tennis coach Jeff Bramlett. Coach Bramlett, it's been a couple of weeks since your last match. Uh, why don't you recap the matches for us? Uh, it was a, a long weekend. It was about 27 degrees with the wind chill when we started against Harden Simmons. Um, all the teams we played last weekend were regionally ranked in both the men and the women. The women, they were regionally ranked 12th. I think we were 10th. Uh, uh, we got ahead 2-1 to one in the uh, doubles, and then uh, we just had a hard time winning the, the singles. It seemed like we split sets in just about every match, and uh, I think Tiffany Stankowitz, she won hers 6-2, uh, 6-0. And then uh, we finally won another singles match, uh, finally at number six singles with uh, Elisa Kendall. And uh, that, that was it. We lost three three setters. Uh, we had another match. We were up 5 2 40 love. And uh, we, we managed to rip defeat from the jaws of victory in that one. But uh, that, that's fine. It's early. It's uh, January. I told the girls we, we don't need to be playing our best tennis in January. It's uh, April's when we want, to be, we want to be playing our best tennis. So. It was a good match. Uh, Harden Simmons always give, gives us their best effort. And then um, the, the boys had a real good match also. We, we, we were actually down 3-0 in the doubles in that one. And then uh, we came back and won three of the six uh, singles matches in that. Our freshmen really stepped up big time in that. Uh, three, we we uh, had an injury in that and had to put uh, Ty in there, and he stepped up and, and won. Uh, Andrew won his singles match, as uh, Joseph Salinas did as well. And then uh, in the afternoon, uh, we, we grabbed a quick lunch. I don't think we got on the court till four o'clock. It was scheduled, it was scheduled for two o'clock, uh, and got on at four. And then um, let's see. And the, the we were, had a lot of close matches, but held on and won eight one. And the women, and then the men, I, I, was, I was very proud of them. Uh, we, we've never won an individual match off McMurray. I went back and looked at the scores. They've beaten us nine zero every single time they've played us. And uh, it went down to 5-4, and that's with us pulling two of our top four uh, boys out of the lineup because of injuries. Had to put the freshman in there and went down to uh, the final match on the court, and the freshman uh, stepped up. And we've been, our freshman singles actually ended up uh, being undefeated that day in singles. So it was, it was a really good day for the freshmen, and, and, uh, and um, I, I just couldn't say enough about them. So, so we could have had better results, but, but uh, you know, all said, we, we did quite well that day. Now, you had this Saturday up to Richardson to take on UT Dallas, a very strong side on both uh, ends of the court. So what are your thoughts on that? Uh, boy, that, that is going to be hard. That's going to be a hard match. They, they won the men's side on the West last year in the ASC, and, and I believe they won the women's also. So that's, that's going to be a, a tough battle this fall in the IPA. They actually won the women's singles ITA and the doubles ITA, uh, beating everybody. That's in, including Trinity. So, um, you know, we the, the, the comp, we we just thought the competition was tough this last weekend. It, it's getting ready ready to go up uh, another notch this coming weekend. So we we're gonna have our hands full, and we're, we're coming off uh, a lot of injuries. We actually lost one player for the season, Ryan Pierce. Uh, he uh, injured his groin real bad, and and. Uh, Kaylee Smith injured her shoulder. She's had to get an MRI, and, and she may not be able to play this weekend. We're waiting for the results on that. So we're going into this match a little bit uh, short-handed against uh, what we feel like is a better competition. So, uh, but we're looking forward to the challenge also, and uh, you know we'll find out exactly where we stand as a team. And we just feel like uh, we're going to have to raise our game level a little bit. All right, Coach. Thanks for talking to us on ETBU Sportsnet. Thank you.